Hello, this is Silicon Soup. In my last video, I explained that KVL failed in the changing magnetic field. The simplest and the most profound example is that voltage measured along the wire is zero, but voltage across the loop has a non-zero value induced by the changing magnetic flux. This phenomenon is well understood in advanced electromagnetism, but it can still be quite unintuitive and even shocking to most people. But, but Silicon Soup and others are saying that you will have zero volts across there. Why? Why? Because this is zero ohms. Once again, a misapplication of Ohm's law. So their theory does not match up with experiment. Let's take halfway through the loop. If the voltage here is plus V, the voltage here would be half a V. So we have half a V across this half of the loop and another half a V across the other half. If you see any discrepancy, it's because you're either missing a component in your model or probing wrong. So now I'm going to show you an experiment that matches up with the theory in hope that it will help you to accept the reality and have a better understanding of electromagnetism. Here, I have a single loop acting as the secondary winding of a transformer and the changing magnetic flux is derived from a toroidal transformer. From the zoom out photo, you can see that the voltage across the two ends is 0.121 volt, but the voltage across each segment is 0 volt. How can all the 0 volts be added up to 0.121 volts? This is indeed a shocking result of KVL failure and if you don't appreciate that, I don't know what to say. So let's zoom in the photo to have a better view of the readings. This is the meter reading for the voltage across the two ends, 0.121 volt. This is the voltage across the wire segment, 0 volt. Across another wire segment, 0 volt. Another wire segment, 0 volt. And another wire segment, 0 volt again. Unfortunately, due to the limited number of multimeters I had access to, the first and the last segments were not measured simultaneously, but I can assure you that they were zero volts too when they were measured independently. In case you are skeptical of the photo, here are the video clips of the experiments. When I turn on the supply, the voltage appear across the terminals and settle down to 0.121 volts AC after the voltmeter filter off the transients. All other meters read zero volts. Notice that I correctly set the meters to the AC mode so that the zero volt readings are indeed the actual AC voltage across the wire segments. I have to emphasize this because should the meter be set to the DC mode by mistake, then the zero volt DC does not imply the absence of the AC voltage, and this is to assure you that the AC voltages were not missed out in the measurement. In case you think that the zero volt reading is due to the probing clip having no contact with the measuring point, then this is what happens when the clip is removed from the contacts. You can see the probing wire becomes floating and picks up electric field in the air and gives jumping numbers. So the zero volt readings turn out to be the confirmation of good contacts. If you know Ohm's law, zero volts across a zero ohm wire is normal and expecting otherwise is ridiculous. Notice that when the probe was moved to contact with the other end opposite, the induced voltage appeared again. Now you might be cracking your head for an explanation for this phenomenon. Sure, there is explanation for this as in my earlier videos. Whatever explanation you might have, the point is you should not deny that KVL has exception as demonstrated in this measurement. Of course, I have seen many ridiculous arguments such as these meters were not measuring the actual voltages and so they could not disprove KVL. But physics tells us that a voltmeter measures the total electric field accumulated along the probing loop, so what it measures is consistent with the definition of voltage given by IEC. In other words, this setup is a legitimate way of verifying KVL and it does demonstrate a case of KVL exception. Thank you for watching. If you find the result surprising, share it with your friends. If you think I'm crazy, share it with someone more knowledgeable and discuss about it. See you again.